The QW410 from DNP is a compact and lightweight home sublimation photo printer, printing up to a maximum of 11 by 20 centimeters. 30 print format and finish combos, for example, 5 by 10 centimeters photo strips for booths, 10 by 15 centimeters prints for passports, 10 by 10 centimeters square photos, and 11 by 20 centimeters enlargements. Enlargements of 11 by 20 centimeters. The printer operates universally with virtually all programs on Windows and Mac OS operating systems. The QW410 prints three different finishes without changing paper. For example, you can print matte and glossy by adjusting a setting in the driver. Printing one 10 x 15 centimeter photo is already possible in 18 seconds. The printer has a special function that prevents paper from getting jammed. You activate it in the driver, where photos emerge from the printer without being bent, and the QW410 is renowned for its prints of excellent quality. Printed on both standard and premium BMP paper, showcasing a beautiful display of vibrant colors. In brief, prints of excellent quality in an extra small housing. And you always receive the exact number of prints as indicated on the media box. No matter how colorful your photos. Now let's see how to place media in the QW410. Thus, the ribbon and the paper. We begin with the ribbon. The ribbon is located here. We position those at the top in the printer. There is a lever for that. We press it. Does the top flap come up like this? And then we can only place the ribbon in the printer in one way. Left certain teeth on you. And those teeth make it possible to let the ribbon fall in there like that. So first you click here on the left side and then in this way, the right side. Same applies here at the front. On the left, we have the teeth first and then here yellow on yellow. That cannot really be missed. It can only be done one way. You then roll up the ribs a little bit so that it fits a bit tight. And then the top lid can be closed again in this way. And then we will position the paper. Then the tray for the photo scan can be taken out. Then we can click off this front panel in order to complete the process. And then we can eliminate the two roll holders. They can be placed on either the left or right. So the specific location is not important. The roll containing the paper can be positioned in this manner. Continue to stay in motion on the contrary when considering the situation from a different point of view. And then we can place the entire thing back into the printer. It is crucially important that the paper rolls down and moves forward in the designated direction. Then we do it this way in the printer and then roll the roll downwards until you hear two beeps and then stop rolling the roll completely before proceeding further with the printing process. And then you know for sure that the paper is placed correctly. Then this tray can be put back on at the front. The bin designated for collecting photos can be easily replaced if necessary. Numerous empty photos are currently being printed. That way you can be sure that there are no fingerprints on the actual print later. This will take a bit. And when these prints are finished, then the printer is ready for use. Start printing. Thank you for watching this video. For more information or to place an order, visit bnl.eu.